tell me when. Go for it. Oh, okay. So I just realized that in your homework you have to do the orientation. So I'm going to do this really fast. So when they tape their plasmids in, just have them tape them in randomly. Okay, and there's two ways that they can go in. So if you can see this, I don't know how clear this is. So you see at the number one base pair, this one has the ATG going at the number one base pair, whereas this one is backwards, so the, the DNA is flipped around. So there's two orientations that it can possibly go in, and it goes in 50% of the time one way or the other. And so to figure out the orientation, how it went in, like if you wanted to transcribe it in a test tube, what we do is we have these polymerases. There's an sp6 polymerase. There's a t7 polymerase on the other side. Those are bacterial polymerases that can read the gene, transcribe. So if you wanted to transcribe it, you would need to know which one to use. Use sp6 or use t7. So what we do is we're going to throw in a restriction enzyme. And I think on the homework, it has you throwing in ecor one OK, so ecor one it says ecor one has a cut site at base pair 30. Now in the lab one, so you want to do the lab one. Lab one, it has a SAC2 site at base pair 40. And it also has a SAC2 site, which the SAC2 site is this long, it's CCG, CGG. So right there. So it's actually going to cut, I'm going to use your pencil. So it's CCG, C, it's going to cut right there. CCG, C. So it cuts right there on the gene. And if we look at this one, that cut site, is right here somewhere. I'm not going to be super exact, but it's right there. So it's cutting it that spot, the same spot, right, in the gene. But it's also got a cut site at base pair 40 of the plasmid. So there's 40 letters in here. It's obviously not to scale. Okay. So if they were to throw this in a test tube and cut it with SAC2, it's going to cut it at that one site in the gene, you know, kind of crooked like that. And then it's going to cut it at base pair 40 in the plasmid. So you'd end up with these two fragments. But on this one, it's going to cut that same spot in the gene, kind of a crooked cut, whatever. And then it's going to cut at base pair 40 in the plasmid. So you can see that this one and this one look different. So if I were to run them and kind of zoom out here, we get on the board. If I were to run them on a gel. I were to load them into here. So this was the ATG next to the, oh, I don't know, let's see. This is the ATG next to the T7. And this is the ATG next to the SP6, okay? So if I were to run this, this one's gonna end up really high because it's long. This one's gonna end up down here somewhere because it's shorter. So we're just gonna say, you know, we'll get a band right here, and we'll get a band up here. But then this one, if I were to run this one, is this going to end up above or below that one? It's going to be above because it's even longer, and this one is even shorter. So it's going to end up down here, and this one's going to end up way up here. So you would be able to tell them apart on the gel. And on the homework, it actually asks them to calculate how big it is. So the way that I do it is I just draw out the plasmid. Here's our gene, and if the ATG is that way, it's going that way, and this is base pair one, and this is 3,600, so our cut site is here, and somewhere right up here, right? And the other orientation, it's gonna cut, it's going the other way, so it's going, oops, ATG going this way, it's gonna cut down here, and then right here, so this is a much smaller fragment, this is a much bigger fragment, and you can actually calculate. So on the homework it says um, that the cut side is at base pair 30. So we know that this is 30 right here, right? That's 30. And then this is, they have to count whatever it is, I think it's 19. So it's 30 plus 19. So this one is 49 long. And this one is 30 plus the other side of the gene, which I remember it's like 47 or something. So 30 plus 47, so this one is 77. And then can you figure out the rest of it? The other fragment is gonna be that 30, right? Plus the rest of the plasmid minus the 30 you cut off. So 3570, 
that's that other fragment. And here, it's going to be that 47 plus the rest of the five fragment, 35, 70. So you can actually calculate how big those fragments actually are. That's what they have to do in the market.